time to get in. Nimesh, Nimesh, is that sort of a day? But as we're discussing, a bit of a knockout punch coming Absolutely, in. Absolutely, from the best, right? And again, you know, today's fall has come as a bit of a surprise, frankly, yeah. Nigel. There were no such indications of such a sharp sell off. The, the global was quite, was, was quiet. Even even here, there, are, there were no large accidents, so to speak, in terms of, uh, you know, bad earnings. So today's fall has, has come as a bit of a surprise. Now, a couple of things. One, uh, we've, we've broken one first crucial support of 21, uh, 20 to 100 on the, on the downside. Now the next level to watch would be 21,800. We've been saying this for, the, for a while now. So let's see whether that's get defended by the bull. So that will be an important level to watch. I guess uh, today is more about uh, unwinding from from retail and the investors, not so more from the from the FIS. So uh, if I if I have to put my stick out, like stick, you know, and say I don't think there, there is a large sell off from the larger FIS. So need to see how the data pans out. But at least that's not a feedback that I've been picking up that there is a massive selling from the larger FIS. Or for that matter, DIs as well. So that number will be quite crucial. I guess you know, been saying this for a while now that uh, election jitters are are for there, and that could add to the volatility. But now from these levels, one, one needs to watch out because the PCR has now fallen to 0.68, and typically around 0.65, 0.6 levels, yeah. the markets tend to bottom out, right? You've been you you keep highlighting that data. So uh, today's FI data would be quite crucial, and again, uh, PCR has fallen to 0.6. But I guess. Uh, there is a bit of unwinding and nervousness now from retail investors, at least in the broader market. Well, you know, Namesh, this could be a blessing in disguise, actually. Because well, if the verdict is actually in favor, yeah. then you'll see a big bounce from there. Otherwise, yes. if you rally ahead of the you know, uh, election event, announcement, yeah. then there's no reason to see a rally. Now right. you're getting a reason to see a rally. True. But tell us individual stocks. Right. So in terms of individual names, the first stock is uh, Nuvoco. That's been a big underperformer. Been consolidating in a very narrow range of late as well. But now there are enough indications that that could be a large block deal in Novoco very soon, so that's something to track going forward. The second stock is VPCL. We saw the HPCL numbers, but VPCL will also come out with numbers today. Even there, there is a board meet for bonus as well. But I guess before the before the results, there is a bit of buying interest as well, so expect high delivery volumes in BPCL in today's trade. The third stock is ITC. Well, the stock is under pressure today, but in the last 30 minutes, I understand there's a small MOC uh, buy, buy flow at a leading FID. So watch out for uh, last 30 minutes move in ITC. And the last one is Paytm. In a weak market, that stock uh, is locked at 5% upper circuit, volumes are on the higher side, and the indication it may be some bit of HNI interest is back in Paytm after sharp correction. So that's the reason why Paytm is, is buzzing in trade today. Okay, Nimesh, thank you very much uh, for that.